But first, allow us the joy of bringing our first, last, and always Ted Gill to the podium. If you'd be so kind, sir. Can, how I can stretch it out. Keep it clean, they're children here. Oh, shoot, now he spoiled the whole thing. A resignation. Climb that hill and touch that cloud, you who are so very proud. Do that little thing for me, and perhaps then I'll deign to bend a knee. I bow to no man willingly, and I ask no man to scrape for me. If you want my praises sung aloud, Go, I say, and catch me that cloud. Don't threaten me with your fancy sword. I'll lay you out like de dead as a board. I'm no child like those you've slain. Your glory hogs give me a pain. I'm sick of your bragging and constant refrain. To cut you down would be no strain, so don't you even reach your hand down toward that fancy silver playboy's sword. As soon as I can get my back pay, I'll be packed and on my way. To be in your army is something I no longer I can no longer abide. You have no too little honor and way too much pride. If I hear your army, your army is going to battle. I'll circle out wide unless I can get up, unless I can enlist on your opposite side. I'll look forward to meeting you in battle, in real battle play, when you'll find me, when you find out who's the best man in your last day. That's what happens when I correct some of my work in it, instead of doing it on a computer. <laughs> Composed to pass an evening. Summer's day is soft and warm, winter's brisk and chill. My love is like a summer who's dawn against your winter will. I want to hold you, to hold and cherish you, to defend you from all harm, to softly love and tenderly touch the soul within your form. You lash at me and keep me off with words that acts unkind. You are afraid to love, I guess, this heartbreak you should find. Winter yields to summer sun, so might you someday to me. But summer turns to winter too, and time may set me free. <laughs> Wild grapes. My wife and I used to go hiking and we found these grapes one day. The wild grapes, grapes ride the piney vines, ripening in the autumn sun. We sought them where they tried to hide and picked them in great fun. We bought them home in a saggy bag for Ma to bake a pie. But they were too full of seeds and foam to Ma's practice baker's eye. The wild grapes now are spread on bread as jelly they had been done. But each time I eat them, still somehow I can taste that autumn sun. <laughs> what, dare, what man dare tell me how to pray? or to worship on which day. If there are gods and if they care, let them tell me when or where. I'm in, I am in charge of my own soul. I'll swallow no religion whole. No priest or shaman can tell me after death just where I'll be. <clears throat> Through the years, religions rage. They, they like fashions change with age. Priests are only men, you see. So I'll talk to God, if God there be. Suddenly you're gone, one half of my life, and I must stand alone, not half of man and wife. My heart is dead and bare, my very soul is torn. With you no longer there, life stretches long and lorn. The pain reaches in so deep like a gnawing empty ache. I see you in my sleep, cry alone when I awake. Each moment seems forever, the days drag slowly by. Time passes like a river while I stand high and dry. 
When I look ahead, the future seems so bleak with half of my life dead, I have a whole new life to seek. Still, I must live on somehow, even smile again, though it seems quite doubtful now in the midst of pain. Men working. Yellow lights ripple in the distance, bulbs blinking on horses by the roadside. Large arrows imperiously order traffic, ordering, directing two lanes into one. Great large trucks stand in lines, with many figures posed nearly motionless among them. One man with a shovel walks up the line. That's it.